Good evening. This is Akashwani Itanagar, the news read by Morgan Bagra. The two-day budget session of Arunachal Pradesh Assembly begins today with the address of Governor K.T. Parnaik. In his address, Governor Parnaik said that the last eight years have been a never-seen-before era for Arunachal, where the government has met historic, transformational, systemic and structural changes that have proved the lives of people especially benefiting the poor, the women, the youth and the farmers. He also said that under the very depth and skillful leadership of the Deputy Chief Minister and Minister of Finance, Planning and Investment with guidance and support from the Chief Minister, Arunachal Pradesh has made a quantum jump on the economic development front through fast-tracking governance, reforms and prudent financial management and gave a detailed account of the achievements. Deputy Chief Minister John Amen, who also is the state's finance minister, will present the budget tomorrow. Home Minister Amit Shah today announced that his ministry has decided to scrap the free movement regime between India and Myanmar to ensure the internal security of the country and to maintain the demographic structure of northeastern states bordering Myanmar. In a social media post, Mr. Shah added that since the Ministry of External Affairs is currently in the process of scrapping it, the Home Ministry has recommended the immediate suspension of the FMR. He emphasized that it is Prime Minister Narendra Modi's resolve to secure the nation's border. Giving a statement during obituary proposal regarding the death of former Khonsa MLA Yumsen Mate, Home Minister Bamang Phyllis said that the incident took place on 16th December and on the second day itself, the police swung into action and identified the perpetrator and its six accomplices. The investigation was on, but as the incident was perpetuated from across the international and interstate border, the Rab police in a letter to the Police Headquarter Itanagar, dated 19th December 2023, had asked for recommending the case to the National Investigation Agency. The PHQ endorsed the same to Home Department, and Home Department on December 21st had recommended the same to NIA. Accordingly, the National Investigation Agency had accepted the case and investigation is on. Mr. Felix said that this attack was not only against late Yumsan Mate and his community, but against the peace-loving society of Arunachal Pradesh. He said the government will book the perpetrators. He said NIA is already on the case and Arunachal Pradesh police is giving 100% support to the investigating team. Governor K.T. Parnaik felicitated the NCC cadets from the state who had participated in the Republic Day Parade in New Delhi last month at Raj Bhavan on Wednesday. Senior Under Officer Dibanlu Belai and Under Officer Rehelu Diu of 22nd APBN NCC Pasigat and Under Officers Nangram Yanyong and Tago Yaya of 1st APBN NCC Narlagun were felicitated along with Associate NCC Officer Late Lieutenant Palvinder Singh by the Governor and his wife Anagha Parnaik at Raj Bhavan on Wednesday. The Governor congratulated the NCC cadets and said that the state is proud of them. He said that their selection and participation in the prestigious parade reflects their hard work, commitment and fervent spirit. The Flying Squad of District Tobacco Control Cell, ICR, conducted a surprise checking drive and raided all the shops near the schools of Narlagun, located at G Sector, G Extension and Dem Site area on Wednesday. A squad team consisting of CEO Narlagun, Nani Mamung, along with district consultant and police team, successfully seized a huge number of cigarettes and other tobacco products, along with alcohol sold illegally from different shops situated near 100-meter radius of educational institutes. All the shop owners violating Kotpa law were challenged, amounting to 200 each. The 21st Unifest celebrations of Rajiv Gandhi University got underway at its Rono Hills campus on Wednesday. Chief Minister Pema Khandu attended the Unifest as chief guest along with MLA's Dana Hali, J.K. Tako and Gokar Basar, Vice Chancellor Professor Saket Kushwaha, APSU General Secretary Ritum Tali. In his inaugural address, Pemakhandu acknowledged Rajiv Gandhi University's immense contribution to the state's growth, saying that many alumni of the university are serving the state in various capacities in various fields. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.